Okay, everybody, this is sort of a video, and I apologize for the shakiness, first of all. But a lot of people have been asking me, how do we turn our CBR files into RAW files? How do we watch them? And I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been asking that, you know, because a lot of people like to download and uh, comic books online that people post. People post their comic book issues online, and and people like to download them and and read them on the computer before they buy them or they just want to or if they got a color printer they could just print out the the issue right then and there and not have to waste a dime um, it's very well how do I say but how do I put this it's kind of complicated if you will well no, okay it's not really complicated it's very easy once you get the hang of it anyway let me anyways anyway like I was saying it's very easy once you get the hang of it so let me show you how it's done now, when you download a CBR file, either through its, either it's through a torrent, mega upload, media file, media file, a hot file, or what, or Rhapsody Share, whatever. Once you download it, here's the key thing. Here's the key thing that you need to do. You need to go to the file that you want. Like right here, I'm going to G Gen 13. V311, which is issue 11 of Gen 13 version 3. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the right. That's right, I'm clicking this. I'm clicking this button right here. The right side of the button. Right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll... If I can get my mouse into place. I'm going to scroll down to Add to Archive. Okay, we're going to go to Add to Archive. Then this thing is going to pop up here. Then what you want to do, what you want to do is you want to go to here. You want to keep it right there on RAW. And then you press OK. And then what it does, as you can see, it starts to compress and archive it, your CBR file, into a RAW file. Now you might think at first, oh that's it, that's all that needs to be done? Not necessarily, not necessarily, not so fast. Because you see, here's where you got to repeat the process. That's right, you got to do it all over again. And let me show you what I mean. Let me show you what I mean. Because now we have a, our WinRAW, our RAW file, file of the uh, CBR file. Basically we have our raw version of it. Now you want to click on that. Now this pops up. Now now, like I said, you're going to have to start the whole thing over again. Well not start the whole thing over again. You're just going to basically have to go through the same steps as you did before. So what you need to do is go to this, gently click on it about once or twice, Highlight the CBR file, the CBR file name, and type in raw in its place, and there you go. Now, now you might think, well, that's it. Not necessarily, because a lot of people probably have made this mistake. What you need to do next to make sure, or you get you get to read your issue. Here's what you do next, because a lot of people have made this mistake. You can't, now you can open it like this, but it's not going to work. What you need to do is you need to drag it into your main folder where your other, where your original uh, CBR slash raw file is. Drag it over there, like this, you drag it, like that. Then your computer is going to ask you to move or replace or don't move or move but keep both files. You'll want move and replace. And that's it. Well, not entirely. Because then what you got to do is click on the new version of your raw file, the one you just, you know, put in there. And then there, and then usually, usually you would get a folder that will say the, is, have the issue name on it. But if you don't have a folder and you end up getting something like this, what you need to do, what you need to do is make a new folder down here, 
put the issue number or whatever name you want click on it and then highlight all the pages highlight all the pages drag them over to the new folder and there you go instantly you will have your comic book issue that you want now usually you will have a folder just like let's say these these were the ones that just when I opened up the raw files which is like this usually you'll get folders like this to where you can just drag the folder into the main area that you want it in so hopefully this helped anybody that's had problems with this in the past you got any comments let me know but hopefully this helped you guys out it's helped me out and now you can read your comic book issues that you want on your computer without no problem or even put them onto your portable device whichever one you have either it's an iPad, iPod, iPhone or Android so there you go and again hopefully that helped and talk to you all later